Well, it's Friday. Davey and I have the day off. We've driven three hours to Lake Purrumbeet from Melbourne. And the goal of today is to catch crispy skin salmon. <laughs> <laughs> we totally just thought about our bellies. No, but we, we're very interested in catching um, one of these famous Chinook salmon, which are stocked in this, in this lake. So I'm gonna launch the Quintrex Dory, 4.2 metre wide body, and we're going fishing. Take me fishing, Joey. All right, let's go. Christmas tree. <laughs> Whoa. It's a Chinook Christmas tree. There's the edge. Be cool to... That must be oh, that's the edge there. It's 23 metres. To... No, we're not sounding in Port Phillip Bay right now. We are in Lake Parambit, and those are salmon, Chinook salmon, we think. Yeah. And they're marking up just like Big Snapper on Joey's Laurent. So. We're basically going to anchor on them like we are fishing for snapper and and huck some baits out. Apparently that's what you do here. Sounds relaxing, doesn't it, Joe? Yeah, absolutely. How relaxing. Oh. Should have brought snags. We're going to catch them. Yeah. All right. Drop the anchor. This is my Lone Star Marine Joe Winch. He's still on it? Yep. Ah! Oh, you got him. Oh, I missed it, I think. Oh. Huh? No, I think it might have. Yeah, it's a bit away. Just a tiny one. There we go. There's a bit away. Oh. Kick him? No, not yet. <laughs> what is it? Oh, it's a little trout. Oh, is it? Something. That's silver! Yeah, trout can be silver. Is it their target species, Dave? Might be. It's not one of those tiger dogs, is it? Yeah. Oh. Hey! 
Look at that. That's what we came in for, isn't it? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> I think we got a schnook. A schnook. <laughs> Look at those colours on that. I've got to get a shadow there. There we go. That's, like, that's beautiful. You've never seen two grown men more excited about what is quite a small fish. But that, to this, to us, this here represents a dream. A short held dream that we came up with just days ago, but a dream. Now, this one's definitely got to be kept because he's bleeding out his gills anyway. And this is the start to Joey's crispy skin salmon cook up. Beautiful fish. If you have a bit of a scan of him in the sun there, Joey. Yeah. A little bit of tangling going on. Oops. We've anchored up and we're bait fishing with half pilchard fillets. Dave just got a small one, which was uh, quite nice, but it was the first fish of the day. We're going to persist here for a couple of hours with bait and burley. And later on in the day, as the sun starts to get lower, we're going to go into the shallows and cast some lures. That's the bait, Joey. A pilchard tail, a single size four hook, a couple of half hitches. And it's like we are snapper fishing. I'm actually using a squid rod. All the purists will be furious with it. Davy! This one feels heavier, Joey. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, getting a bit excited there. <laughs> Tell me if you need the oh. mate. Come on, pulling us. All right, he's he's way out there, isn't he? Yeah. Hang on. Let's do this for a second. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap, it's going so hard. Oh, <laughs> I'm so scared. <laughs> oh. He buckled, Joe. He buckled. That's more like it. You do have a net, don't you, somewhere? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's out. It's just, I can pass it. Have it on standby here, too. Yep, just pass it here. Holy crap, this thing's going hard. <laughs> I'm as scared of losing this as I would be if it was a swordfish. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Mate, it's got good weight. How good is this? Using my eggy rod, which is actually quite good for this. It's absorbing the lunges. What do you reckon? Trout or Chinook? I hope it's a Chinook. Oh! <gasps> Deep colour. Deep colour. Oh, it's an eel. Oh! 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 No! Mate! Let's mate, keep up for sword bait. Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> what do you reckon? Swordfish? Sword bait. Yeah. Oh. Well done. Wow. Ooh. That's stunning. Not really. Yeah. This has been eating a lot of our belly, too. <laughs> He's hard to hold. <laughs> um, what do you got? It's not a Chinook salmon, it's a... It's an eel. But you know what, Joe? First thing I saw when I saw this come up was swordfish bait. He's a very good swordfish bait. And we're going sword fishing, so we're actually gonna keep him and make use of him. Actually, they do taste really good, apparently, if you uh, smoke them. But yeah, this guy's gonna be used for sword bait. Yeah, I reckon you got one on, he's just swimming around with a stuck line. Yeah.
Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Joey. Finally. It's small. It's just, it's so deep the water here. We're in 27 meters, so. The fish is only just knowing they're hooked now. Oh, now I've got weight to him. Oh. Here he is. Oh, oh, it's a good one. Is it? Yeah. Sick. Uh, oh, it's a net. Chinook. Oh, oh it's, whoa. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. Oh, no. What? Same size. Reckon? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a carry on. Ah, oh, come on. Go on. <laughs> I finally got my first Chinook salmon. First one. There we go. Oh, they're slippery, aren't they? Yep. Let's see how we go. There we go. Oh, look at this beautiful fish. Go, Joey. Okay, here we go. Lovely. Beautiful. Woohoo! First first Chinook. I have to practice saying that. Chinook. That was unbelievable, Joe. Joey, I don't know if a bait fishing. I thought I reckon a vibe's gonna work here. They're sitting under the boat on the sounder. On Burley. A couple of minutes in my soft vibe got nailed and there it is. Oh here's a better one. Oh he's gone. Just okay. oh. There you go, that's what it that's what it was. It didn't take very long at all. Is there a vibe? Man, he was better, Joey. Ooh. Even here in a lake, we've managed to relate it to bluefin somehow. I'm actually purposely leaving a bunch of line floating on top because that's my indicator basically. When I see that start racing off, I know a fish has picked the bait up. Uh, they're still there. Yep. Got him. Tiger. <gasps> I think it's a tiger trout. It's a tiger trout. Wow. Yes. Cool. New species. Oh, wow. Do you, want, do you want a rag? Just a... Did a gut hook? Yeah, I skipped it already. Tiger by name, tiger by nature. Yeah. Here you go, Joey. How cool is that? Pretty cool. He's missing his fin, which was probably cut off um, by when he was stocked. So I don't know what year he was stocked in here. 
Grab a photo on the iPhone. Yeah, absolutely. Joey. Oh, Joey. Dave. Jeez, oh. you hit that hard. <coughs> Is he huge? Oh yeah, he's a good one. Where's the net? Oh shit, it's just here. There you go. You need me? No, sorry. Oh, is that fish of the day? Yeah, it's massive. Far out. Do you need my help? I'm... Yeah, I'm filming. Fish of the day. <gasps> What is it? Oh! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> it's the biggest trout in the world. <laughs> Holy shamoli! <laughs> That is a huge brown trout, Dave. Oh. <laughs> On last light, casting at the banks. What were you casting? It's a dialer double clutch in a U color. That we just bought on the way down here. Recommended oh, from Steve at WH Parker. That's it, Joey. We've got low light. I'm gonna stay low in case he kicks out of my hand. I'll do a quick scan there. Yeah, that's and good. his jaw is all. His jaw's really how you're going if you have a look at that side. Yeah. But, um, yeah, he's massive. Alright, she's going home. Oh, that's so long. Tell me when you get ready to let him go. I'll give it a go. Okay, for well, you. Yeah. <laughs> How does that swim off? Mate, uh, what a day. We've, we hatched a plan to come down and do something different. And we had a ball catching fish on bait and burley. We thought, the witching hour, the last little half hour of the day, let's go fling some hard bodies along the weed edge. And um, I didn't expect that to happen, that was awesome. Uh, big thanks to all the guys that gave us um, a few tips and tricks for today. Mitch Chapman, Dave Jurisic, and of course the guys at, uh, what's the tackle store there at Colac, Joey? WH Parker and Co. WH Parker, there you go. And the Fullers. Yes, and the Fullers. So yeah, cheers everyone, and um, signing off for the day. What a way to finish. <laughs> So we've also got some uh, tiger and rainbow trout here as well that we're going to try. I don't know about you, Dave, but I haven't eaten tiger trout ever before. No. It looks exactly like... I have eaten tiger, though. <laughs> so is it similar, you think? We have not. Not that you know of. Well, this oil looks perfect. Delicious, crispy, freshwater fish. <laughs> it's the first time in a long time that I've had freshwater fish. So, here we go. Mmm. Delicious, velvety texture. Love it. Now this is good. This is really good stuff. I'm happy with that. Might have to go and get some more. <laughs> I'd be, we shouldn't have let him go. <laughs> no, no. We showed mercy. We, that's it.
as we were getting really upset, we couldn't release them. They were all getting gut hooked, so we had to take a few home. But no, these are very nice. Have a look at that. We've overcooked it, but that's alright. <laughs> <laughs>